Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel! Today is going to be the third part of um, this tutorial, blending tutorial. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I cannot shorten this video into three parts tutorial. I think I'm going to be doing it four parts. So, this tutorial will only be consonant plus your consonant, okay? But uh, again, before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be notified once I am going to upload a new video. So guys, let's do this. Alright, so let's begin. Under your blending and then your word connection, we already finished your consonant plus your vowel and then of course your vowel plus your vowel. Now, number three rule, the third rule that we're going to talk about now would be your consonant plus your consonant. There you go, consonant plus your consonant. Okay, things that you have to remember again with the consonant, consonant, same rule applies. Last sound of the first word and first sound of the next word. Under your consonant plus your consonant, there are two rules that you're going to take note of. The first one would be your held sound. Uh, the first one would be your dropped sound. And the second one would be your held sound. But, uh, but let's first talk about your dropped sounds. Now, in your dropped sounds, the first, uh, the first, the, the last of the first word and the first sound of the next word should be the same. What do I mean by that? Of course, I'm gonna be giving you examples for you to understand better. Here we go. Example number one. We have their head done. Okay. First and foremost, you're going to check whether the first sound, the, the last sound of the first word, is consonant. And then the first sound of the next word is also consonant. So let's check it now. So last sound of the first word, that is do sound, which is your consonant. Let's mark that as your red. The first sound of the next word would be your do sound, and it's also consonant. Now, that's, the, uh, that's what I mean when I say same. It means the last sound and the first sound are the same. Now, if they are the same, what are you going to do? Just drop the first sound. You would say had done. You are not going to say had done. Hmm? I had done it. You don't double the sound there. If they have the same sound, just drop the first sound or the second sound and do the D sound there and blend. Say had done. I done it. See? You do not say I had done it. No. Okay? Another example, we have there your keep popping. Okay, keep popping. Okay, here we go. Last sound of the first word, it's p sound. First sound of the next word, it's p sound. Do they have the same sound? Yes, of course. What are you gonna do? Just drop the first sound or the second sound and say keep popping. You don't say keep popping. Huh? You don't say keep popping. No. Alright? Now tip. You are uh, tip with the ing ending. When it comes to ing ending, you can say ing sound, right? You would say popping. But if you want to sound, you know, if you want to sound lazy, you would say poppin. Just drop the, the, the G sound there. Okay, poppin. Lockin. Hoppin. Talkin. I'm talking to you. See? I'm talking to you. You, do not, uh, you can also say I'm talking to you. That's okay. That's fine. But variations with the ING, you, would, you can say talking or talkin. Hoppin or hopping. Variations of the pronunciation, right? But in this case, I suggest you to drop the G sound, alright? And say keep popping. Yeah. Another one would be kick crowns. Here we go. Last sound of the first word is k sound, correct? It's k sound. Let's mark that as your red. First sound of the next word, it's your k sound. So what are you gonna do? Just drop and say kick crowns. You don't say kick crowns. Kick crowns. I want to kick crowns. You don't do that. You say I kick crowns. Last example, we have your canotify. Last sound of the first word, it's consonant. First sound of the next word, it's consonant. Do they have the same sound? Yes, they do have the same sound. So what are gonna do? Just drop that in sound and say canotify. You do not say can I can notify. No. <laughs> Tip variations with your CA and pronunciation. You can say can or can sound. Right? You say you can pronounce can or kin, 
Alright, for example, if you want to stress it out, you would say can. I can do it. But if you don't want to stress it out, you say I can do it. See, I can do it. I can do it. Stress, I can do it. Say it. Okay, that's your drop sounds. Alright, repeat it after me. You say had done. Had done. Keep popping. Keep popping. Kick crowns. Kick crowns. Can notify. Can notify. Alright. Alright, next rule under your consonant plus your consonant is that we have your L or stop sounds. Okay, review. Under your drop sounds, consonant sounds should have the same sound. But with your held sounds, this time, different with each other. Okay, now what do I mean by your held sound? Okay. I will give you examples. Alright, by the way, there are only sounds, consonant sounds, that you can stop the sound. Alright, for instance, we have there your t sound, we have there your d sound, we also have your k, g, b, and p. These sounds, okay, we can only stop them. But other than these sounds, you can't tell the sounds. It means that you're going to pronounce the sounds. For instance, we first go with your held and then your stop sounds. Okay. For example, we have there your head dog. Again, consonant, consonant. Okay, consonant, we have there consonant. Another one, consonant. Okay, so consonant, consonant, do they have the same sound? No. Therefore, they have different sounds. If they have different sounds, Oh shit. Alright guys, so I'm back. Duty call. Alright, so let's go back. So the last one that we had was your head though, as an example, alright? So let's go back to that. It's like held sound. So last sound would be your consonant and first sound would be your consonant, right? The question there is, do they have the same sound? No, they don't have the same sound. Therefore, you're going to do the held sound and how are you gonna do it? You're gonna say had the. So you're going to check for the first sound. If the first sound is um, a t d k g b p sound, then you can held them. Alright, so had the. Okay, so another example that we have in here is we have map matters. Map matters. Here, map matters. So the last sound of the first word is consonant, and the first sound of the next word is also consonant. Question: Do they have the same sound? No, they have different sound. So what are we gonna do? We're going to do the health sound. Okay. So we say map matters. So how will you do the health sound? You only have to position the initial placement of your articulators. So what do I mean by articulators? It includes your mouth, tongue, teeth, vocal cords, and whatnot. Okay, so the position of the p sound, initial position of the p sound is like this. There's no sound. You're only going to do this. <laughs> right? So for instance, you're going to say ma. See? They sounded no, it didn't. So I will not going to say ma. No. Just do this. Ma. Ma. You don't say ma. Wrong. Ooh, shower. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. So another one, we have your mock bob. Consonant, consonant, right? So the f do they have same sound? No, they don't have the same sound. So what's the first sound in there? That is your k sound. So can we help do the help sound? Yes, of course. We say mock. Bob. You're not going to say mock bar. No. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be smooth. Alright? Just do the health sound and say ma. Ma bob. For example, we say bad vibes. They they have different sounds. Okay, consonant, consonant. Do they have the same sound? No, they have different sound. Is the first sound do sound? Yes, of course. And we can do the health sound. We say bad vibes. We're not gonna say bad vibes. 
Bad vibes, Korean. No, I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna say bad vibes. Do the held sound. Initial placement of your articulators. Another lot down. Consonant, consonant. Yes, of course. Then do they have the same sound? No, they don't have the same sound. So what's the first sound? It's t sound. So is it in there? Yes, of course it's in there. So we can help the sound. So let's say lot down. You're not going to say lot to down. No, lot to down. Okay? Did you understand? But of course, if it's all the accent, like for instance, British accent, then you're going to say lot. See? Lot down. Hmm. They do the pop T sound. They pop the T sound. Okay? Last one, we have there your beg for. Okay. Beg for. Consonant, consonant. Yes, of course. Alright, what's the first sound? Do they have the same sound? No, they don't have the same sound. So what's the first sound? It's g sound. It's in there, so we can. So there's therefore we say beg for. We're not gonna say beg for. Alright, beg for. No, not gonna say that. You're gonna say beg for. Okay? Now, what about the other sounds? Like as I told you, these are only the sounds in the first initial or the first sound that you're going to consider the held sound, okay? But let's say, what if this one is the thing? Miss thing. Look, they have same sound. Right, consonant, consonant. Do they have same sound? No, they have different sounds. So, question, can we do the held sound with the S? The answer is no, not this time. You cannot say me, me. Thing, me thing. No, you're going to put the sound there and say miss thing. Do you get it? So we say miss thing. Exemptions to the rules. Okay. So those are your held sounds. All right. Repeat after me. Head the map matters. Mock ball. Bad vibes. Lockdown. Beg for. Exemptions. Miss thing change habit that's it for your consonant plus your consonant again review again review when we say consonant plus consonant we have your drop sound and we have your held sound under the drop sounds it should be the sounds the, the first and the last sound should be the same okay so therefore we can drop the first or the second sound okay however if it's held sound then what are we going to do if they have different sounds and then the initial sound would be your T, D, K, G, B, P. Then we can do the held sound. Okay? So guys, that's it for the third rule of your blending or word connection. Stay tuned for part four. I'll be uploading it anytime soon. So enjoy!